What's going on guys? Mojo King here and today we've got to talk. We've got to talk about some things and um, Merry Christmas. Okay guys, so every single year EA does a foot miss, okay? It's like the the days leading up to Christmas and at this time it is like a week before Christmas. If you guys don't know what foot miss is, uh, every year they do special packs. Uh, they usually give out a few things like you, you get free packs when you log into your companion app. Uh, they do all kinds of different specials, um, mainly revolving around packs. And uh, this year, since we have squad build challenges, they've decided to grace us with something a little different. But I woke up this morning, and I woke up, well, actually this afternoon. It, it was kind of late. But regardless, um, I jumped on and saw some really interesting squad builders. And we're going to do some, and we got to talk about this, okay? Because fucking FIFA has ruined my Christmas, okay? It's officially ruined my Christmas. And you can see, can you see over there? Can you see that? Can, can you see that? That's a wreath, okay? I'm fucking festive. That, that's my, that means I'm festive. That wreath right there. Merry Christmas. Before we do these squads, drop a thumbs up. In the, in the spirit of Christmas, subscribe. Let's do it. Like I said, I woke up this morning and I, uh, I, I was just stunned by this shit. De Rossi, Rufier, and Parolo. Each one of these has some pretty fucking ridiculous requirements. The De Rossi, I would use a lot. I play with De Rossi quite a bit. Um, Roma is a team that I like to link up. Nengelin and, um, other players, Manolas and other guys like that. So he's a good one to look at. Rufier, I can give a fuck less about Rufier. You can go fuck yourself, my friend. And then, of course, there's Parolo. And Parolo's card looks pretty good. Although, I heard a few people talking about it, and he seems like he's a bit slow. Although, that card just looks special. It just does. And they're all number 16. They're all number 16. Look at that. That's interesting. They all have the same number. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe it's not. Either way... I put together De Rossi. Now, each one of these requirements are pretty ridiculous. And of course, look, Team of the Week plus Movember. Look at that. All you guys who had all these fucking ideas that Movember cards were going to be useful in a squad build challenge, and then you got shit on in the comment sections. Guess what? You were right. Feel the validation. You were right, and they were all wrong. And you could put November cards in this. And quite frankly, I think EA is just trying to flush these fucking things out of the market. Because I read on Reddit, I hate saying that, um, that someone was actually buying up November cards and just discarding them. Which is brilliant. Because they were like, I can't stand seeing these fucking cards. I'm just going to buy them and quick sell them. I hate them. I'm even losing money. But I can't stand seeing brown cards when I search special. And I'm right there with them. But now, you could use them. And... In this one, uh, you need 84 overall rating, two Calcia players, um, Team of the Week players, plus Movember players, at least four, uh, minimum chemistry 80, and 11 players. These four guys right here that I bought, I bought uh, this guy, Lissandro Lopez, for 15000 I bought Buonote, who, you know, I packed this guy like three times, and I just discarded him. Eighteen five. Also bought him. And then I got Suso because he works well as a right mid and he's in the Italian league. He was 19 2, 19,000. And I bought this guy, Lissandra Lopez. Yeah, it was ironic. I searched the other Lissandra Lopez and I got this guy too. So I was like, fuck it, I'll buy both of them. They have the same name. I bought him for 25,000. He was a little bit more. But the total of these guys, honestly, that's not a lot. I mean, 15 here. Uh, 18, damn it, I was hoping that math would be easier. Oh, 33, uh, 53, 53 and 25, so, wow, 78, 78,000 for those four informs, and then I put it around this team here. I had everybody except this Mascherano who went for 6-5, so this is like up in the eight, 80,000 coin, uh, this is going to cost you about 80,000 coins, this one. Now, this is the one I absolutely intend on sending. And then I thought, yeah, I mean, these other ones. And I looked at Rufier, and the Rufier, he, this one's actually probably one of the easiest ones because you uh, you only need two Team of the Week players. 
And again, 90 chemistry, it's attainable, especially if you have to buy everybody. You know, when you buy everybody off the market, as long as they all have good links, you're going to lose loyalty points and you might, you know, be down a little bit. That saves that. So exactly gold, nine players, two team of the week players. So if you bought two of those guys I just showed you, uh, you could actually get away with um, a pretty decent, you know, maybe 40,000 coins for this one here, especially if you have gold players in here. But let me just say, Ruffier is shit. I hate Ruffier. And then I watched Castro play with him, and he was garbage too. Okay, guys, so here it is. Um, I put together the Ruffier team, and... I know I didn't put it in there, and I probably won't even talk about it anymore just because Ruffier is total shit, in my opinion. Uh, but if you wanted to, this would be pretty cheap. The two, Boyanote and Lissandro Lopez, it'll cost you about four, a little under 40,000 coins for the two of them, and then you could put together this little team here. Um, you do need a little bit of loyalty. Uh, three players aren't on loyalty, but also uh, there's a player here, there's a cam that could, he, you could change Boyanote and a CM. You could change these two right mid and this left mid into uh, left mid and right mids. Um, you could change up the left mid and right mid as long, or the right mid especially, as long as you get somebody beneath him who's from the same team. And that's the key here. Try to keep it within the same league, same team. You know, get some some good green links, and this one will work for you without a lot of loyalty. But there are at least uh, a few links of loyalty. So there you go. There's Rufier if you care. Now Parolo, I put together also, thinking that I might do it. And I do have, um, you need 84 overall rating again, two Italian players, three Team of the Week players, um, minimum chemistry 80. Again, that's an easy, that's very attainable. You don't need a lot of links, as you can see around there. Eight, seven, eight, six, five. Only two players have 10 and two have nine. Everyone else is on shit chemistry. But there's one I could also put together. So I was debating between Parolo or De Rossi. And I still wasn't sure, okay? So then, I go to work, and I'm like, Oh man, I'm missing footness, oh, missing footness, and shit. And then I look on my phone, and it's about to die. And I look, and I see that Obama Yang squad build challenge. I was like, what? Okay, so the requirements are, you need one Gabonese player, one Bundesliga player, two to what, what, what? The only player is Obama Yang, so you need to trade in your fucking Obama Yang to get another Obama Yang. Now, I think, oh my god, I gotta sell my Obama Yang, right? Because he's probably going for a shit ton, and he is. He was going for like 400,000 coins in like the first hour or something. There's no way I'm trading in a 200,000 coin player. Yeah, this guy is worth, well, I mean, at the time he was worth 400,000 coins. Right now he's going for about 230,000 coins again because it's kind of, the market kind of went back down because people start realizing who the fuck is going to turn in a team? Look at the players I have in the team right now. Royce, uh, Socrates. You would need to put in some of the most crazy players just to get this to work. I'm at 86. I'm still not at 87. He's only an 87. Um, Aubameyang's regular card is an 86. The stats aren't that big of a deal. And you can't sell that fucking thing. So you're going to spend 200,000 coins to get Aubameyang to put in this team. Because you can't... There's no other Gabonese player. And then you got to buy... Hummels, and you gotta buy a molar, and you've gotta put in a Robin, and you're gonna have to put in Robin probably over here. He's probably the only thing you could put over there that actually works. I still haven't even thought about putting him in there just to see uh, what you gotta do to get this done. Let's see, where's Robin? Is that Robin's regular card? Yeah, he's it's still not. You have to put in David Alaba. I mean, you have to put, you have to give up so many good cards to do this that this one. Not doing it. That's not worth it. And frankly, I can tell because the Obama Yang was at 400,000 coins originally. And now it's down to like the normal price. And people are like, yeah, that's fucking stupid. Then also I realized there's a Benteke. There's a Hamsik. Okay. But there's two other Benteke cards that are better than that. In forms. And you still need requirements for this one. 84 overall rating. Three November cards or Team of the Week cards. Again, getting rid of those fucking November cards. Thank you, EA. Thank you for listening. And 70 overall chemistry. This is doable, okay? Let me just say this is a very doable one because it's 84 overall rating, 70 chemistry. I mean, you could practically throw players anywhere on the field and get away with this one. And uh, it's doable. If you're one of these people who are like, I really gotta collect all these cards then fucking do it okay but this one not worth it either so there we go Aubameyang smashed off the list 
Uh, Benteke, he smashed up the list. What about this Hamsik? Now, personally, this guy is my cam in my Italian team. I play with Hamsik. I have an untradeable version of him, and he is awesome. Which brings me to this card. It's like, oh, God, look at that card. But he also gets informed. So he's got an inform. It's as good as this card. I mean, here's the thing. This one also is going to cost you a bit. 85 overall rating for this one. Three Team of the Week players. 70 chemistry, which is easy to get. And 11 players. I'm sorry, I can't. And, the, and what where this is all coming to is I don't want to do any of these three. Okay? And I still kind of want De Rossi. It's a shame you got to give up four. Four Team of the Week players. Gotta, I swear to God, to do some of these squad build challenges, you've got to, like, sell your firstborn child, mortgage your house, and sell a testicle or November players to do this. And originally when I saw that, I thought, oh, I needed a November player and Team of the Week. No, you don't. You can just do Team of the Week players, or you can just do all November players if you're one of those poor schleps who's been crying for the past, you know, two, three weeks about how you have November cards, you know what to do with them now, and you've been sitting on them and being all pissy about it and get on Reddit and going, ah, I got November cards. So, you know what I mean? There you go. You got a chance to get rid of things. I am probably going to do this to Rossi. Now I'm starting to think um, that I should maybe wait. Maybe these ones aren't even the best ones. And Wait, these guys have number 17. What the fuck's going on here? 17s, 16s, It's the si Tell me they're not doing the 16th, the 17th, and then the 18th. If that's the case, that is fucking stupid. I can't even think of anyone who's number 18. Who's number 18? Who would be next? Jordi Alba, maybe? 16. Isn't John Terry number 18, too? Okay, so maybe John Terry. Come on, John Terry. I don't want a John Terry squad build challenge unless you're going to give him, like... At least 60 pace, and then I'll probably do it. But okay, guys. So this is what this is what's come down to. And you guys can take a look, you know, pause, look at some of these uh, squad build challenges that I put together. If you want to do one of these, this is a great version of it. Like I said, these could cost you. If you're getting these players, like if you're getting these team of the week players for anywhere between 12,000 and 20,000, which I think that's a pretty good, you know, deal if you could swing that. I think this would be the best option. You get maybe 15, and it's going to cost you still about 80,000 coins. Sell the players if you're not going to use them. That's what I'll probably do. And, uh, you know what? I'm just going to do De Rossi. I'm just going to do it. Here. We'll do De Rossi. Here it is. I showed you what you were missing over there. Um, there. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's submit the shit out of this. Let's get our De Rossi. There we go. Boom. De Rossi. Not really that excited, but there it is. There's our De Rossi card. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take that and send that to the club. And there is our only one that I'm going to complete. And he actually looks pretty decent. Let me know if you guys did some of these and let me know how they play. I mean, shit, if you guys send me a message and be like, Oh my god, the Yang is like the second coming of Obama Yang." Then maybe I'll do it. But if not, fuck it. Uh, Aubameyang is going to get a shit ton of informs. He's going to get informs throughout the year and a team of the year. So what's the point? And uh, Hamsik has informs too that are just as good and that's not worth it. So there you go, guys. That's what I think about Footmas so far. Until next time, happy freaking holidays and thanks for freaking watching.